Welcome back, everybody. A couple new videos for case break analysis. Uh, I'm JT, and this is Simulated Case Breaks. Today we got Panini Immaculate UFC. Another video after this one for products that are coming out uh, beginning of February. I'm going to try to go through this a little fast. A couple changes. I've added some things, and I'll get to those when I get there. I don't know if you guys like 15-minute videos. But I'm going to try to get these down under 10, and then hopefully after that, really, really short give you what you need. Remember, this is for you to save money on breaks, take screenshots as I go, and just get the information you want. If there's some something that you aren't seeing in here, just let me know in the comments section. An Immaculate UFC, this is a obviously a high-end product. Who is this good for? Well, Immaculate is an elite product it, it, for any sport that Panini prints this in. Obviously, <clears throat> we want logos and stuff, but um, baseball, you're not going to have that, but with UFC, you have everything you need, logos and everything. Um, and this set is really good for people who like to collect swatches, memorabilia cards, unique items, um, and it's a high quality base set. So e even though the base set is really not the focus and there's very few of them in a uh, hobby box, it is a very high end set. All these cards hold value for a long time. We'll get into that with the investor part. High end checklist. Uh, we'll talk about that as well. Uh, you get six cards per pack, but you can't buy a pack because there's only one pack per box. You get it. You get that. You get six cards. Uh, five boxes per case. Very small uh, quantity, which you only get 30 cards then. And with that 30 cards, you get three autographs and two memorabilia per box, uh, also per pack, which uh, kind of leaves you only with five room for five extra cards. And those are going to be like those fillers that breakers will use to hide the autographs as they do their videos and try to give you the, the cool reveal. For investors, if you're an investor, obviously Immaculate's always going to be a high-end product that typically holds its value. I can't make that argument for baseball, but I haven't done any analysis yet. But for UFC, I did a little bit, looked on eBay and looked in a couple other places. These cards are selling for a lot of money. So if you can get into these breaks, which you can't, I'm sure you can, I don't really know where the breaks are being held. Uh, you will, if you hit, you're, you're probably going to get your money back. Uh, so with its high-end status, the, the price of these, which uh, again is later in the, in this uh, presentation, uh, for the, the price of these is not so bad for, I mean, we're talking like, um, transcendent for tops is $10,000 and they're giving you, well, even though they're giving you like many one of ones they're giving you a briefcase, all that other stuff in this instance you're getting a very high-end set uh, for about two thousand uh, dollars a case so I mean that's not bad for what you're gonna get and you'll see there's a lot there's a lot of really unique memorabilia there's gloves in here there's shorts there's uh, octagon mats um, there's all kinds of stuff so definitely you're gonna get something you can't get out of like UFC select or prism and then the autographs are all on card as far as I can tell and uh, the checklist includes ranked fighters. I looked them up. There are, I believe, 64 ranked fighters in this product out of the, I don't know, maybe 200 fighters that are included. Um, any of this text here is all from Beckett.com. Got to cite my sources. Uh, so Panini, as I mentioned in a previous video, they're really bad at making sets that, that mean something. But um, Immaculate Moments obviously mean something. So um, you, you'll get a little bit if that's what you're into um, and you want to uh, you want to have a card that actually represents a moment. Uh, these will be those and then Immaculate Celebrations. I mean, it, uh, you can't see the back end, so you don't really know if this is going to mean anything. But that's an auto on card auto with uh, f some nice photography. And that's what's going to be cool. I think about a lot of these is the photography is also very high end. Um, and then you got legends and uh, let's see inductions spotlight some of the greatest UFC fighters. We don't have to read this verbatim. Um, you got autos and then yeah, you're going to have some uh, memorabilia. That's pretty interesting. Uh, got some got a rookie card here. So there are rookies in this set. What's this one? I don't even know. Uh, doesn't say what the what the memorabilia is, but there are also acetate versions, which I love acetate cards. I mentioned that in the. Uh, Panini uh, I, Illusions, uh, I, I love the acetate cards. There's also Octagon Canvas cards, which is cool. So tons of uh, cool jumbo memorabilia. And then uh, here you go. 
So that's all the aesthetics. I think the cards look great, but it's not the cards that you're looking at. It's the stuff inside, the autographs, the memorabilia, who, um, other than maybe that celebrations card. The player checklist, super strong. I looked them up, did some research. 64 ranked fighters as of February 2023. Uh, and then Steel City has a, a case of immaculate UFC for 1980. Um, and again, I use Steel City because I don't think that their markup is terrible. Although I was seeing some cases for over 2000. Um, on eBay and stuff, but I think that markup is more kind of to get to recoup some eBay fees I'm not I wasn't sure how to break this down. So I did it by fighter uh, So here's if you can get into a break and you buy it by fighter um, Here's the prices you should pay if you get into it by weight class I could also provide that just let me know in the comments section and maybe I'll throw uh, you know a screenshot at you But if we break this down by the distribution of cards per fighter, this is one of the new things I added uh, the when it when it says all and underscore that is literally specifically particularly all of the cards that are included when it doesn't have all it is uh, the unique card so there are 18 different cards with Tony Ferguson's autograph the total number of cards that he had autographed for this set is 519 at least from the calculations I could do of course keeping in mind some of the assumptions that I have to make uh, in the simulation these are included so here's what I would pay uh, per fighter uh, let's just go with I guess the top couple uh, for who has the most autographs likelihood of you getting one um, the, it would be cool to do this ranking by the strength of the um, autograph maybe the value I'll just go through this quickly you could pause the video where you feel like you might want a screenshot here um, and this is just for, for people with all autographs and what you probably should pay based on the price of that case and the distribution of autographs throughout this set. So there we go. We got, that's about, we'll do 15 pages of this. I'll just make that. Yeah, there we go. So now we get to the point where there's people without autographs. Now, if you want to do this by memorabilia, here's the breakdown there. Actually, we want to do it by all memorabilia. And so, um, there we go. So wow, you if you want, uh, you could pay four hundred and forty-one dollars for Derek Lewis um, because apparently, oh no, actually to take that back, you put this with four hundred and forty-one separate cards with memorabilia. That's a lot. There's actually sixteen types of cards, four hundred and forty-one total in the set. Pay about fifty bucks. So I'm not going to go through them like I did with the autographs, but. So if you if the max you should pay for a player if you're specifically going for memorabilia is 50 bucks Just keep that in mind start and then just go down from there. Um, and if you want more information on these uh, These rankings, let me know so and then for about 40 bucks for the top if you're searching for going for autographs now That's not going to be how it's broken down. Obviously these breakers are going to break it down by uh, You know George st. Pierre is probably going to be worth a little bit more money Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure how breakers do it. I'm not a breaker. This is just telling you by distribution. And at some point, maybe I'll get it by, you know, ROI. That would be cool. All right, so here's the master checklist. Uh, here's what they have by print run and type. So the most common card you can get is base. There it is, obviously, base cards. And those pr print run on those is 49. That is the stated print run. I doubt these 99s are accurate now uh, because the print run of the base is 49, so it's probably probably got less autos than that unless this comes from the spreadsheet I don't know but there one of the assumptions I make is that if the serial number is not listed autographs uh, or memorabilia automatically gets a 99 or a 199 um, let me see if I could uh, get that here yeah oh uh, I put 499 there uh, so these are probably stated odds then or stated serial numbers so these are the most common cards that you're going to get here you go i'll just scroll slowly you can screenshot that here are the most rare cards that you can get the jumbo memorabilia jersey that has a print run to one there is only one of those uh and then here's a bunch there's only one of a bunch of them uh so looks like that is uh these are the most rare cards that you can get in the set now i'll move to the next these are the print runs. Now I've changed this number. It used to be the number of unique cards by team uh, for each print run. This is actually um, broken out by weight class. This is not unique cards. This is the total number of cards by weight class for that print run. So cards that are one of ones, 
for each of these weight classes, that's how many cards total there are that are one of ones. Same for one of two. So, so for each of these, it used to be, this would, number would probably be 15 because there's 15 unique welterweight cards that are numbered out of two. This is actually the total number of actual cards. That way, as we go down this list, we can see that you know, if you're looking for cards that are out of 49, you have a good chance in the welterweight division, or really any division, to get those. So there is that. Take your screenshots if you want them. If you're searching for those one of ones, there you go. Now, this is the same thing, basically, um, except it is just by print run, not by team or, or division. Uh, so we'll go with the most frequent card uh, is going to be out of 99. And there's 317 different ones. There's 28,000 total. And so that we will uh, just sort by print run. You can take your screenshots if you want. If you're looking for low print runs, Immaculate's going to have a lot of opportunity for that. So there's that. Uh, and then number of cards per team. I used to just have the number of unique cards. Now I have included the total number of cards. So this isn't team. This is by weight class. I'm not sure how to break this down for UFC. So just give me some feedback and let me know what you want to see. Uh, there are 9,100 bantamweight 9,000 welterweight, uh, and there's the unique different different kinds of cards. So there you go. Uh, and now my simulation result. So I, I break a case of this, and in this situation, a case is 30 cards. Uh, and here were the results. So let's just uh, kind of filter this by print run. I didn't get any one of ones, which kind of stinks, but I did get an Amanda Nunez out of 10, that's nice premium memorabilia autograph red. That's pretty cool. I bet that's a cool card too. Uh, so um, that's nice. Uh, and then most of these are auto, so I don't actually probably have to filter this by auto. But here's some of the results for my one case that I um, that I broke by uh, print run. Here you go. There's the rest of them. So there we have it. A couple rookie cards in there. And now the results of a case by division. This would be by team Norma. Who cares about this? I don't think anybody really cares about that. Cards by set or uh, by parallel. So the most frequent card I got was Fight Night Memorabilia. So you could count on that being pretty common. And then the some of the rare stuff I got uh, was the Immaculate Collection UFC Marks of Greatness. All-time greats. That's cool. I wonder who the all-time greats card was that I pulled. Uh, let's look. All-time greats was Forrest Griffin. Not bad. I used to watch Forrest Griffin. All right. So here's the aggregate of 20 case breaks. So that, what I just showed you was one case. This is 20 cases uh, aggregated together. So by division, again, by team, it's not going to matter. Unless you're buying into a break by division, then you want to buy the welterweight or the bantamweight. Um, if you, oh, disclaimer, if I'm wrong, that's not my fault. Uh, I'm going to say that, try to say that every video. Uh, so for 20 cases, uh, I did get I did get some one of ones for the 20 cases. I didn't for the single case that I showed you, but it looks here like I got five total one of ones in a tw in 20 case breaks. Um, that's not very high. That's actually there's some chase in there that might uh, introduce some rarity to this. Um, so you buy in expecting to get a one of one in this high end product, you might not get it. Uh, there's some tens, maybe even some twos. I got here. I got only two. I got more one of ones than I did one of twos. That's crazy but there might be more uh, out of two and I got one one of three so that's by division of course and then the final uh, what is the breakdown by weight class or in most cases team for each type of card I got 50 I got a ton of autographs just just swimming in autographs in a 20 case break I have way less base because there's just not that many of them in a case um, they're kind of filler and then here's the memorabilia got a bunch of those and parallel so if you're buying weight classes, this would be a good thing to screenshot. If not, I could always redo this by fighter. Just let me know. Uh, and there it is, 2022 Panini Immaculate UFC. Thanks for joining. Bye.